Hi everyone, welcome to our Limitless video series. Uh, I'm here today with Barbara Gazurova, known as Sherusin in her, her heart. Um, I am Cristiana Cordova. Uh, I am a museologist and I work with Nartwork. Um, today I'm going to interview Sherusin about her work. Uh, she uh, was born in Slovakia and she has been uh, a passionate of art since a very early age and she then uh, learned as a self-taught artist uh, many media that she will tell us about and yeah so today she's a full-time artist um, she has been traveling and working all over Europe and today she is uh, speaking from Germany. Uh, so this is our international network coming together uh, from different parts of Europe. So shall we start? Um, first of all, I wanted to ask you, um, how did you first approach art making and what influenced or inspired your current style? So um, with with the, actually, with the start of the artwork, I was always painting from when I was a child. So actually, I don't know really a moment when I really was like, yeah, I'm, I'm really painting now or I'm really drawing. And uh, because I, uh, as you mentioned, I'm self-taught. So I was uh, painting and drawing besides my school, my studies and, and my job. So I would say I'm, I'm still uh, learning and trying to find myself within the painting. So, and um, what like influences me, what inspires me is actually, I would say the life itself, people around me and mainly the emotions, like the, 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 from the smallest one to the biggest, biggest and strongest emotions and um, a lot of dreams. So my dreams, they inspires me. I think probably the most. Because sometimes I see the full pictures or just like as well, just a little emotion. That's fascinating. So you paint your own dreams? As well, yeah. Wow. That's yeah. unique. <laughs> and you're also a tattoo artist, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, so how does tattoo and paint inflect each other in your art or if they do in any way? Um, I think they, they definitely do. Um, well, first thing is um, the tattooing kind of um, helps me with the discipline in painting. So I know um, by the technical way that I have to have some, some discipline and I have to really focus on what I'm painting that I used to have a problem before. And um, yeah, definitely painting. Um, I'm, I'm very inspired by the painting when I'm tattooing. So actually when I'm making design for um, tattoos, I feel more like I'm painting and I don't look at the tattoo like just like a decoration or something, but more like a painting. So I think um, they are very connected uh, to each other for me. Yeah. So you, you are a painter on people's bodies. Exactly, I have the most expensive canvas, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. Focusing more on Limitless, our call, um, you submitted the painting Euphoria um, and I wanted to know which is your interpretation in that context of that painting of a different reality that was uh, asked as a source of inspiration in our Limitless call and uh, where are the new opportunities that we can find uh, in that painting specific? Yeah, um, the, the painting itself, um, it shows actually a man um, who's, for example, having a great evening with his friends, when they're listening to great music, and he feels very really like, yeah, he feels the euphoria, right? But he goes out and then he is like lighting up his cigarette, and it's the moment like when the euphoria is the, like the strongest, the happiness is the strongest, and then he's like, yeah, I like want to remember this moment, this evening forever, how I feel now. And yeah, this, this emotion. So 
uh, I think it's uh, something what um, all of us have, like moments that we remember what we, when we feel the, the strong happiness. And I think this is something what uh, was always pushing us forward, just to feel better, feel again the same feeling. And um, yeah, that's why we stay creative because we want to have this emotion again and, and again. So we, I don't think so that we're gonna stop just like, yeah, you know, I'm, I don't want to feel this anymore because we are kind of addicted to this happiness, to this feeling. So this is what I want to show in this painting, this little moment, because sometimes it's very short because later somebody can distract you, something can happen, but that's the little moment when the person has it just for himself, when he's quiet. That's what I want to show with a cigarette. Um, and the moment when he feels the happiness in the strongest way. Wow, so there's a real story behind it. Yes. <laughs> You're portraying like the apex of, uh, of an intense night. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to show like maybe uh, to people a little bit closer, like that's, that's something what probably everybody feels and it's something what everybody knows. But um, yeah, many times people don't, don't stop to understand the little moments. Yeah, yeah, I think that is so true. <laughs> and it's very, um, I mean, you can empathize a lot with it in this moment in time specific, uh, that we want to go back to how things were and, you know, the beauty and the joys of them. Also, a night with friends now seems like a very special thing. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that is where also the power of that painting lies, that you can really tell when you see it, uh, that is multi-layered. And also the, the, the person in the painting seems like in very deep thoughts. Uh, yeah, I think it's very fascinating uh, as an image also. Uh, so this is the end of our uh, short interview. Uh, thank you for your participation uh, and your time. Um, again, uh, I want to compliment you for winning uh, the call and you will see, of course, your painting published online. And for the rest of our public, thank you for being with us and for listening to me uh, today. And Thanks to our guest again, Sharuzen. Uh, see you again soon in our video series. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.